Another important command is grep command. Okay. Whenever in a file or a list set of files you want to search something, typically it is used for text files. Let's say you have a file food.txt. You want to search whether the word bananas exists in that file or not. What you will do is grab pattern you want to search file. Okay, so grep command is used to search a pattern in a set of files. Okay, so let's see what are the commonly used or in important information in this. Hyphen I will allow you to do search which is case insensitive. So let's say if there is a banana with capital B, if you use hyphen I and use small b here, it will search it. Okay. Hyphen E, if you want regular expression, we'll talk about regular expression a little bit later on. Hyphen R option is for recursive. Hyphen O is only print the files which match. Hyphen A search for all the things under side, under, under it. And there are multiple options. One of the options which is like whichever file matched, after that show next two lines, next through lines, those also can be used. So you can go into details of these options by uh, trying and experimenting with these commands. Okay, so we'll use some basic examples. Grep ahb and this file will search for ahb in this file. Okay, grep hyphen r ahb dot searching in this directory r stands for recursive and everything under this directory for ahb pattern grep hyphen ir ahb will search in all directories but in case insensitive manner and other options are grep minus n will show line number on which the pattern matched grep hyphen r is used for recursively then you can also use the regular expression like which will go into a little bit detail later on dollar stands from end of the line dot stands from dot a to z will search for any character between a to z okay so let's say you want to search red any character any character es in this file it will you can write it in this way so square bracket if you use a to z it will search for any character square bracket let's say use x y it will search for either x or y in the regular expression grep minus n will use for line number okay now let's say you want to search for all the lines which are ending with a dot in a particular file so what we'll use backslash you are using for real dot then dollar stands for regular expression is end of line and will report all the lines with dot or a full stop you want to search for any digit any number in a file you will use grep minus n n will tell you the line number and you will use zero to nine this means any number between zero to nine search this Search for any two numbers which are together, you will use two times this. So let's take some examples of grep. Okay. Okay, so we had this file, right? CD Unix training, right? And let's see what are the content of this file. I am learning Unix. So let me edit this file a little bit more. I am learning Unix. Oops. One, two, alpha, beta. So I will say, okay, in this file, search for alpha. Oops, typo, search for in this file for alpha. So it will tell me fourth line matches alpha. If I search for something, let's say Vikas, since Vikas does not exist in this, then it will not return anything.